Scientists have taken another close look at Cassini's plume data from Saturn's moon Enceladus, and the results are clearer than ever. Fresh ice grains, collected just minutes after they were ejected from the moon's ocean, contain new organic molecules that were never identified before. These findings offer the most direct glimpse yet into the chemistry of a subsurface world long considered potentially habitable. In this video, we will explore what was found, why it matters, and what it means for future missions. Let's get started. Cassini's 2008 flyby of Enceladus remains one of the most scientifically productive encounters of the entire mission. While the spacecraft passed the moon many times, this particular flyby brought it unusually close, only about 13 miles above the South Polar region. This area is lined with long fractures known as the Tiger Stripes, where the crust is thin and warm enough for water vapor and ice grains to escape from the subsurface ocean. As Cassini flew through these jets, its cosmic dust analyzer captured ice particles at nearly 18 kilometers per second relative speed. This impact instantly vaporized the grains, allowing the onboard mass spectrometer to read their chemical components. Earlier analyses focused mostly on particles that later drifted into Saturn's E-ring, where prolonged radiation exposure complicates the interpretation. The new study instead isolates the particles collected directly within the plume, material that existed in space only briefly before being sampled. By reprocessing this older dataset with updated analytical methods, scientists identified a wider range of organic compounds than previously recognized. These include several families of molecules, such as esters, ethers, and cyclic structures that had not been linked to Enceladus before. Their presence indicates that the ocean's chemistry supports reactions capable of forming more elaborate organic structures. The molecules were detected in extremely small fragments, yet they still carried enough detail to identify distinguishing features like ring-like formations or double bonds. This broader chemical profile provides a much clearer picture of the raw material emerging from the ocean. It also aligns with earlier discoveries from Cassini, such as salts, simple organics, and silica particles, but now strengthens the connection between the ocean and the organic material emitted through the plumes. Because these samples were collected in such a short window of time after ejection, they offer a more reliable snapshot of the ocean's native chemistry without the uncertainties introduced when particles linger in Saturn's environment. Overall, the discovery confirms that the plumes act as a natural conduit for transporting the ocean's internal chemistry directly into space. That makes Enceladus one of the only places in the solar system where a spacecraft has effectively sampled an extraterrestrial ocean without having to drill into the surface. The identification of these new organic molecules carries substantial implications for how scientists understand the processes taking place inside Enceladus. On Earth, some of the same molecular families, such as esters and ether-like compounds, can form in environments where water interacts with minerals under varying temperatures. Cassini had previously detected evidence for hydrothermal interactions on Enceladus through the presence of silica-rich particles suggesting that hot water circulates through rock at the seafloor. The new organic findings are consistent with this model, indicating that the moon's ocean may host chemically diverse zones shaped by thermal and geological gradients. This matters because environments where heat, water, and minerals interact tend to produce richer organic chemistry over time. Whether the reactions are purely geological or influenced by biological factors, such conditions are recognized as capable of generating complex carbon-based compounds. The newly detected molecules, especially those with ring-like structures or double bonds, imply that Enceladus supports processes beyond the simplest chemical pathways. Importantly, the fresh samples reduce uncertainty about the origin of these molecules. Previous ambiguity arose from the fact that material in the E-ring could become altered after long exposures to radiation. By contrast, 
the plume particles analyzed in this study reflect the ocean's chemistry more directly. This provides stronger evidence that the diversity of organics originates within the moon, rather than being shaped artificially by space weathering. Another point of scientific significance is the insight the results offer into ocean dynamics. The distribution of organic compounds suggests that Enceladus's ocean is not uniform. Chemical composition may vary based on proximity to seafloor vents, circulation patterns, or ice-ocean interactions near the crust. This raises new questions about how materials cycle through the ocean and how frequently plume activity transports them to the surface. These findings also contribute to the broader study of ocean worlds beyond Earth. If Enceladus, a relatively small moon, can generate and circulate these organics internally, similar processes may occur on other icy bodies like Europa or Triton. The discovery extends the range of environments considered capable of supporting complex chemistry and helps refine models of where life-supporting conditions may be found in the outer solar system. In short, the new analysis broadens our understanding of Enceladus as an active, chemically evolving world with an ocean that likely exhibits both energy sources and chemical pathways relevant to habitability. The expanded organic profile strengthens the scientific case for further investigation of Enceladus and its ocean. While the discovery does not point directly to biological activity, it increases confidence that the moon possesses multiple ingredients associated with life liquid water, internal heating, mineral interactions, and a notable variety of organic compounds. Together, these factors make Enceladus one of the most accessible and informative targets for astrobiology. However, the current findings also highlight the limits of what Cassini was capable of detecting. The spacecraft was not equipped to identify biosignatures or to determine whether any of the organics originated from biological sources. Its instruments were designed for broad chemical analysis, not for distinguishing between molecules created by geological versus biological processes. As a result, while Cassini revealed that Enceladus's ocean is chemically active, it did not provide the level of detail needed to answer questions about the potential presence of life. Future missions could address these gaps, Several mission concepts propose sending new spacecraft equipped with high-resolution mass spectrometers and more sensitive sampling systems. Because Enceladus naturally emits ocean material into space, these missions could repeatedly fly through the plumes and gather samples without requiring landers or drills. This approach would offer access to ocean chemistry under controlled conditions and allow the detection of more subtle molecular patterns, such as amino acids, lipid-like structures, or isotopic ratios that can help differentiate between biological and abiotic sources. In addition to direct sampling, scientists want to understand how plume composition changes over time. Monitoring variations in the concentration or types of organics could reveal seasonal behaviors, tidal influences, or subsurface activity cycles within the ocean. Such observations would provide valuable clues about how stable or dynamic the ocean environment is, and whether certain regions are more chemically active than others. The broader implication of this discovery extends beyond Enceladus itself. It reinforces the idea that subsurface oceans beneath icy crusts may be capable of sustaining complex chemistry independent of sunlight. If internal heating and rock water interactions are sufficient to drive these processes, then potentially habitable environments may exist in many more locations throughout the solar system than previously assumed. As the scientific community continues to re-examine Cassini's data using modern techniques, additional discoveries may still emerge. Each reevaluation brings new insight into the moon's internal processes and further refines the questions. Future missions should aim to answer. Enceladus's fresh organics reveal a chemically active ocean beneath its ice. These findings sharpen the case for habitability, but leave key questions open. Future missions will determine whether this ocean world shows signs of life.